extraction of metals next part of the discussion extraction of metals uh, which are moderately reactive if you take moderately reactive example you can take lead and you can take iron and you can take zinc so particularly here if you take iron zinc and even copper also if you take here lead and copper both of these they undergo self reduction both of them they undergo self reduction so what i'm doing here is in the case of lead if you take pbs galena they it is subjected to roasting if it is subjected to roasting it forms lead monoxide plus sulfur dioxide gas this is solid and this is gas and this is also solid so take this lead monoxide gas lead monoxide solid and again treat it with pbs solid it undergoes auto or self reduction to give pb solid plus sulfur dioxide gas so to balance the equation there are two options there so take two over here and take two over here so here the lead which is obtained is the pure form of lead similarly if you go for copper you take cupric cuprous sulfide it's a pyrite mineral ore cu2s plus o2 gas gives rise to roasting so you get cu2o plus sulfur dioxide gas balance the equation i think the reaction is already balanced this is cuprous oxide take this cuprous oxide solid and again you treat it with the cuprous sulfide subjected to auto or self reduction and finally we get copper and sulfur dioxide gas solid this copper which is obtained is called blister it's called blister copper which is the purest form of copper i think if you are going to balance the equation there are two oxygens so take two over here and here 2 plus 2 total 6 coppers are there so take 6 here the reaction is balanced so the obtained copper is called blister copper in this way we can just go for one more reaction that is c go for iron iron pyrites or simply oxide of iron oxide of iron when treated with the carbon acting as a reducing agent we can find that we get iron solid plus carbon dioxide gas this is molten iron balance the equation take two over here there are three oxygens so take three here take two here so take four here number of ions number of oxygens are balanced so number of carbons we need to balance this is carbon solid this is also carbon solid the reaction is balanced likewise if you take titanium chloride if you treat it with the the more active metals titanium chloride if you treat it with more active metals like aluminum solid we can easily get titanium solid plus aluminum chloride solid at a high temperature at around 1200 degrees centigrade we can continue the reaction you can balance the equation here we have 4 here we have 3 so here you can take 4 here you can take 4 and here you can take 3 take 3 here and take for here the reaction is going to get balanced so the last part of the discussion that is to go for displacement reactions it is valid for uh less reactive metals like uh, gold and silver so you take argentite ag2s silver glans this is silver pyrite or simply silver glans the silver glans is treated with the sodium cyanide 
uh, aqueous this is solid aqueous this is acting as a leaching agent it forms a complex immediately it forms a complex it forms sodium argento cyanide complex it forms and it forms sodium sulfide sodium sulfide is a byproduct to balance the equation there are two silvers so take two over here two twos are two sodiums and two sodiums four sodiums so take four over here two into two four cyanides reaction is balanced and this we call it as sodium argento cyanide sodium argento cyanide complex take this sodium argento cyanide complex na ag cn taken twice and treated with zinc which is acting as a reducing agent immediately it forms na2 na2 zn cn taken four times taken four times plus ag silver so here uh, you take two over here and there are four cyanides and uh, one zinc so here we have two sodiums four cyanides two silvers yes the reaction is balanced so this is sodium sodium tetra cyano cyano zincate and this is the metallic silver molten silver is obtained this is one of the best examples of displacement reaction for the extraction of that is the less reactive metals that is copper and silver so here i have given you the example of silver how to extract the silver the same method you have to apply even for the extraction of gold also so gold and silver both of them follow the same method that is displacement reaction method here here the zinc is trying to displace the silver in the form of molten silver which is in the pure form so the next part of the process is that is goldsmiths alumino thermic process in this goldsmith alumino thermic process if you take if you take if you to three if you to three solid and if you treat it with aluminium solid which is a reducing agent similarly chromic oxide plus aluminium solid acting as reducing agent here in both the cases aluminium reduces the oxide of iron to molten iron and uh, you get aluminium oxide solid plus heat large amount of heat is generated here also if you take chromic oxide aluminium reduces aluminium as a reducing agent reduces the oxide of chromium to chromium solid plus aluminium oxide solid plus heat balance the equation there are two chromiums so take two over here there are two aluminium so take two over here there are two iron so take two over here there are two aluminium so take two over here so therefore it's an exothermic reaction this is also an exothermic reaction and this iron which is obtained is red hot molten metal which is used in bridging bridging of tracks railway tracks it is used in the welding purposes or the bridging of railway tracks that's why we call it as the exothermic reaction and because large amount of heat is liberated from both the reactions we can call them as exothermic reactions and uh, this is a special type of reaction we call it as goldsmiths aluminothermic process